All right, thanks for staying with us. I am here with Denise from the Animal Rescue League and uh, <laughs> Edward over there, who he's uh, much less shy than Denise is. He does not <laughs> want to uh, find his way out of his cage, which actually we were talking during the break. Um, seems like a, a pretty good segue here. To You want to talk a little bit about introducing pets into your home, especially when you have something like Edward, who's he's a little bit shy. Right. Normally when I bring a cat in and I have it in a, a kennel here, I'll open the door and they'll kind of creep out and pretty, pretty soon they'll end up on my lap. Some of them just jump right out and I have to worry about them, you know, jumping over the couch or whatever. But <laughs> Climbing all over yeah, us. But he never got out any further than just looking through the, you know, the doorway here. So um, I, I don't ever want to just pull an a animal out of the kennel, right? Mm -hmm. to, to say like, here you are, let's go. But um, especially in this environment, a lot of lights, a lot of movement, a lot of things going on. And so for me, I think this is kind of how you introduce them to your home as well. If it's the only cat in your home, you can go slow like this, right? You can just kind of give them their own little area and just kind of not bother them for a couple days, let them know where the litter box is, that type of thing. And they'll kind of come out on their own. Um, if this is your second cat or uh, another cat, if you already have a cat in your home, then you know we talk about that too, where you need to give them their own space. You do some scent transferring with blankets, mm -hmm. beds. Um, and then it depends. Sometimes it'll take, um, I don't know, six weeks, eight weeks to introduce them finally into your home, but then that brings down that chance of them mm -hmm. spraying or I any of that. So if it's been six or eight weeks and you have multiple animals and it's just not adjusting well, what can you do at that point? Yep, um, always contact the Animal Rescue League. We have, um, we have pet uh, people that will help you. They're uh, very good. Carol is one of our um, cat people and she can tell you everything. She knows everything about <laughs> cats. So we will help you through that process, right? With our animal behaviorists, they'll just walk you right through all of that and help you with anything that you're, even today, if you haven't adopted from us, but you're having some issues, okay. give us a call because we would rather have you keep that animal in your home than to have mm -hmm. to, you know, relinquish it to us and then have to find a new home. And he's thinking about it. He's, right. he's, he's, smelling he's, me. he's, he's poking his head out just a little bit more. <laughs> Each. If we have an hour, he'll probably be he'll, he'll be all over me within 20 minutes, <laughs> yeah. right? It just takes some time. Takes so, some time. All right, well, Denise, thank you very much for thank coming you. by. We love having you as always. Thank and Edward, you. hey, it was good meeting you too there, little buddy.